Sheriff's deputies in the city of Wasco have been equipped with body cameras for about the last three weeks. Today, officials spoke for the first time about how the pilot program is going. Reporter Kyle Harvey has information from the sheriff today and joins us now. Kyle. Well, guys, it's not often that I find myself at a press conference with a camera pointed at me. But that was the case today when the sheriff's department gave their first and overwhelmingly positive review of the new gear. The video you're about to see of a recent police shooting in South Carolina is graphic and maybe disturbing to some viewers. Video evidence. Without it, it's hard for a community to agree on what exactly happened during an officer-involved shooting. And so in an effort to provide greater accountability as well as protection for members of law enforcement everywhere, departments across the country have begun to use these body cameras. Locally, body cameras have arrived first in Wasco, where the sheriff is operating a pilot program with 17 deputies. And after three weeks, officials today went on the record about how the program is going so far. The, the foundation of law enforcement has been shaken in the last five years, and this is going to give us an opportunity to uh, rebuild that foundation with the community that we serve. Sheriff Donnie Youngblood was one of many officials Thursday with good things to say about the cameras. We were under the impression that maybe we were going to be recording all the time, but Actually, I think they're great. So if they're not on all the time, when does a camera start filming? So basically, everything they're dispatched to, everything they self-initiate, um, it's on. And as much as the body cameras are meant to help bring clarity in an unfortunate incident of an officer-involved shooting like this one in Wasco in January, deputies say they will also help with more day-to-day -day happenings like car accidents. One of the subjects who was driving uh, gave me one statement. And then later on, he changed his version of what happened. So I said, you know, I have it on video. I'm going to go back and review the video because I believe you told me some uh, different um, how the incident occurred and he kind of paused and so and I was able to go back and look and sure enough yeah. And when are the tapes reviewed and by whom? Sergeant Ian Chandler who helped write a lot of the policies says he looks at film about two hours a day. For now a lot of that time is spent just getting acquainted with the technology and working out the bugs. But it's already proved its worth as a way to evaluate performance. Unless it's a major incident in the middle of the night, I'm not out here. So now I'm out here basically 24-7 seeing what they do. And, and it's a wonderful tool for, for a supervisor to have. And is it scalable? If so, when will the rest of Kern County's deputies get them? That's the million dollar question, no pun intended. Uh, it, it, very expensive uh, to buy cameras, very expensive to, uh, to store, it, store it in the cloud. We're going to be struggling this year, we know, um, to keep deputy positions filled. And uh, quite frankly, it won't do us any good to have a body camera in the, in the community unless it's attached to a deputy sheriff. And the sheriff did add that while it is a costly investment up front, if the cameras can prevent even one or two lawsuits against the county, the entire system will have paid for itself. Reporting live in studio, Kyle Harvey, Eyewitness News.